You may already be familiar with Diplodocus carnegii, the dinosaur we affectionately refer to as Dippy, our beloved mascot. But do you know this fossil's origin story? Dippy's journey to the museum begins with a newspaper article in late 1898 that claimed most colossal animal ever on Earth just found out west. This news quickly caught the attention of museum founder Andrew Carnegie. Carnegie asked the museum's director, Dr. William Holland, to get a dinosaur for Pittsburgh, and so a team of paleontologists traveled to Wyoming. In early July 1899, after a few months of searching for fossils in several locations, the team finally uncovered some very impressive bones at Sheep Creek, Wyoming. The fossils were so big and so many that they filled 130 crates, an entire boxcar, when they were sent back to Pittsburgh. Carnegie Museum paleontologists freed these fascinating fossils from the surrounding rock and discovered a new species of dinosaur, naming it Diplodocus carnegii. A new wing of the museum was built to display this 85-foot-long specimen. So excited was the world about this fossil that King Edward VII asked Andrew Carnegie for a dinosaur for England. A cast or replica of Dippy was made under Carnegie Museum scientist supervision, shipped to England and put on display in London's British Museum of Natural History. And it wasn't the only one. Eventually, nine more replicas of Dippy were made and sent to places all over the world, including Berlin, Madrid, Paris, and Mexico City. It's so exciting that Dippy can be seen all over the world, but only here in Dinosaurs in Their Time in Carnegie Museum of Natural History can anyone see the real thing.